Hello and greetings and today look hey we've got Paul back hello Paul hello How are you doing it's been a while now he's bought a new toy to play with what do you got 56 Sigma 1.4 okay right 56 Sigma 1.4 for his Fuji now this lens is getting some great reviews is it any good but guess what quite recently I bought this <laughs> from a Nikon it's an 85 1.8 so I'm guessing that this is Nikon's answer to that that's true so question is which is best well there's only one way to find out fight let battle commence and let's start off with this wood pile this is the Nikon let's have a look at the Sigma wow okay <laughs> that's interesting a lot more in focus look let's pixel peep there let's zoom that in 300 percent and it's pretty obvious look that the uh, the sigma look has got more um sharp hasn't it that smaller sensor uh and it's very sharp isn't it let's have a look at this this is a mercedes wheel that is the nikon and the sigma wow punchier a lot more punchier it's got a sharpness i think it's hard to deny that that actually looks sharper i think it actually looks more contrasty it's punchier is it sharper well it definitely appears so let's look at an outside picture and we put these images side by side they don't look very different do they the nikon slightly colder the uh, sigma slightly warmer but let's pixel peep let's go in 300 percent and the Sigma looks sharper to me. It does look at that woodwork. It definitely, definitely looks a tiny, tiny bit sharper. Now let's have a look at a portrait of yours truly. <laughs> it was never made to be a model, was I? But anyway, look, there's not much between them. I think with portraits, I think the Nikon, if anyone, is slightly softer. Sometimes a lens can be too sharp for portraits, can it? Let's have a look at this gnarly old tree here on the Nikon. And let's check the Sigma yeah a lot warmer but also very very crisp detail it's it's hard isn't it between these two finally ernie on the uh on the seti in the sunshine thinking when are they going to stop talking about cameras and you couldn't get a gnat's whisker between these two images could you they are so close and yet the sigma is so cheap compared to the nikon one last image out in the garden and yeah i mean it could be i mean which is which let's be honest it could be either couldn't it unless you pixel peep it's very difficult to know which one the sigma is well that was absolutely incredible wasn't it how on earth did that sigma keep up with the nikon it's actually less than half of the price of it wow aps sensor lens as well against that nikon full frame lens i was absolutely gobsmacked look it didn't just keep up with it sometimes it outperformed it you know there were some details it was punchier definitely punchier but there were there were some shots where we pixel peeped and actually you could see it was a sharper lens on an aps sensor wow just wow now what do i do because i've got a quandary sigma have announced that that lens is now going to be on offer with the nikon z mount series now i've got the nikon 85 mil for the full frame camera the uh, z6 mark ii's but do i get the sigma to put on the zfc that i'm filming on now mm, decisions decisions what shall i do i mean they'd do the same job wouldn't they but that sigma is really nice isn't it i mean <laughs> very very nice i'm gonna have to mull that over i, I don't know I, I just can't believe that uh, it performed quite as well as it did at the price that it did. And um, if you'd like to see some more images from the Sigma, I did a review of the lens before I pitted it against the Nikon. And if you want to see those pictures, and want to see just what I thought of it there, check out this video.